Dr. Paul Keel's athletic resume would have been impressive had it stopped at age 60, but it's what this senior has been achieving in the 20 years since that's most eye-opening. For most 80 year olds, taking a walk is sufficient exercise. But on this summer morning, Paul Keel of Far Hills is preparing for the annual swim around Manhattan. Completely circling the island, totaling 28.5 miles, will be co ed relay teams of four swimmers, none older nor more passionate than Keel. I can go in now anytime. Yeah. At any age, it's, it's a lot of pride. It's a lot of pride. It's one of those things to when you're happier when it's over, uh, but it, it, it's worth it. It means he's sharp mentally to stay focused and also that his body can process, you know, the energy for a long period of time. Keel swims nearly daily at the Somerset Hills YMCA in Basking Ridge. He coordinates their Swim Inc. program, which teaches water exercise to those slowed by neuromuscular impairment, including Keel's wife of 55 years, Benita. And you feel wonderful in the water. It makes you feel young and, and <laughs> high-spirited. It's great. I feel good because perhaps I've made a little difference in somebody's lives, and that's the whole thing. This retired psychiatrist has authored books about managing depression through exercise. His latest is Exercise and the Mind, the possibilities for mind-body-spirit unity. In studies with animals, Prolonged exercise does the same thing to the neurohormones in the brain as the antidepressants do. I'm not saying one will replace the other, but one will complement the other. After swimming competitively in high school and college, Keel focused on running, competing in more than 50 marathons. Life's responsibilities took Keel away from swimming for about 40 years, but he returned to it competitively at age 61. And his first swim around Manhattan came at age 70. There's a beauty to getting the right stroke, to, to putting your hand in at the right place, to stroke, to taking your hand out at the right place. He just loves the water, so it, it doesn't seem <laughs> as if it's um, fearful in any way. It just seems as if it's part of, so much a part of his life. Having crossed over bridges running the New York City Marathon, Keel swims under them during the relay, totaling four legs lasting up to 45 minutes each. This nine hour race proves challenging for swimmers far younger, especially in rough waters. Hard to get warmed up uh, for me. I always say I'm like the old cars where you have to run them for about 20 minutes before the oil starts flowing. But then when I saw that Queensboro Bridge and the end was in sight, I, I really felt strong. It's inspiring because uh, it, sort of, it sort of brings home the message that you, as you get older, you can still stay active and passionate about things, things like this. It's just being the best you can be in anything. If you can be the best you can be in a sport, it's a metaphor for everything else you can do. Keel's only real aim mishap, a cut knee, didn't even happen in the water. The hardest part is getting back in the boat. A small price for being an inspiration. And you can visit swimming.org for more information about their organization.